basics of the image editing program called GIMP. Um, so in this part, we'll be covering the toolbars and boxes, dialog boxes or windows, tool names, menu options, and basic interview. Um, so you probably have noticed um, on the far left, we have the what is called the toolbox, and uh, I'll be first telling you um, each of the tools and what they do. So the first row we have the rectangular select tool. Um, the next one is the ellipse select tool. And the next one is the free select tool, fuzzy select tool, select by color tool. So now for uh, on the second row from the left to the right, uh, the scissors select tool, foreground select tool, paths tool, color picker tool, and zoom tool. Now the third row. We have the measuring tool, the move tool, alignment tool, crop tool, rotate tool. There's a lot of tools. Now the fourth row, uh, the scale tool, shear tool, the perspective tool, flip tool, and text tool. Now for the fifth row, the fill bucket tool, the blend tool, which I call it the gradient tool, uh, the pencil tool, paintbrush tool, eraser tool, and lastly we have the sixth and seventh row uh, that are the uh, airbrush tool, ink tool, clone tool, um, healing tool, perspective clone tool, blur, uh, I believe it's the blur and sharpen tool, yeah, the smudge tool, and the dodge and burn tool. So we have covered the tools already, now let's just get on with the menu bar. So, uh, we have this menu bar right here, it's very similar to any other menu bar you have. Um, the first menu will be I'll be showing you is the file menu options. So you have the um, create a file, open a file, save as, um, close, print, everything that you would have in some other um, program. Now we have the edit tool, uh, edit menu bar uh, option. Um, we you can do undo. Um, a redo, cut, copy, paste, and mostly everything. Uh, now we have the select tool. Uh, the select option menu option has pretty much everything to do with selection. Uh, you will go here a lot. Um, you'll learn them. You'll love them. Now we have the view menu option. Uh, this is used to mess with your zoom and other things to do with your view, such as going showing to showing your guides and your grids. Um, now we have the image option. This has to do with things like scaling, flipping, rotating uh, your image, and etc. Now we have the layers menu option. It's basically the same thing as the image. Instead, uh, you just do it on your layer and um, not your image. So I'll be going more in depth in the layer part later. Now we have the color. Uh, this is... Um, mostly about color from changing them all together or just adjusting the brightness again I'll be going more in depth later in parts um, the next one we have the tools menu option I don't go here a lot you might it's just basically your toolbox um, so yeah now the next one is the filters option I will not cover this that in this part I will only say that this is one of the most important options in GIMP um, so, yeah. Now, uh, you wouldn't have the FX Foundry or Script Foo, uh, because I added this later on, uh, but I'll be showing you how to do that later on in the tutorial. Next, we have the Windows, um, option. Basically, it's just, um, your, where your tabs are, where you can get your tabs from, and etc. So, here we have the Help, again, the same thing. You can have tips and stuff. So now um, I'll be showing you the dialog boxes on the right. Um, in default, this contains layers right here. The next one is the uh, the channels, paths, and the undo history. 
Um, and on the bottom right here, uh, they are the brushes, the patterns, and the gradients. Um, so these have to do with all the things that we are going to cover in the next part of this tutorial. So you will need to have them in some form or fashion on your screen. Um, I prefer to just use the default screen setup myself. And uh, that's the first part of the introduction to GIMP. Uh, please go to part two uh, by clicking on this annotation right here. And I'll see you guys next time.